Man, I don't know what it is about fringe and comebacks, but oh my goodness, this one was better than the last one. What's going on guys, Great Disciple back with another gameplay. In the background, you are about to watch an even better comeback than the one that I posted about a week or two back. Now, this one doesn't have the same score line, mind you, okay? But <laughs> what this one does have is a nuclear. I mean, <laughs> it, it was so crazy because if we were down by even more, and I go into the second half, I believe, with the same type of score. I think it was four and four or something. But man, absolutely annihilate this team. You wanna know what's crazier? You wanna know what's even crazier than this? The day I'm recording this commentary, which is on May 10th, I had a gameplay on Fringe where we go into the second half, I think it's 100 to 18, and we come back and we destroy the other team, and they all rage quit. We beat them by 40 points. You wanna see it? If you want to see it, I'll go back through my theater because I didn't have my Elgato going at the time. So just let me know. I'll see if I can find it and, um, and and I'll put it up for you guys. But that was a crazy one. Now on that one, I actually had two subs with me when I was doing it. So I don't know if that one is legitimate enough. But this one, oh boy, I was solo. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, all right. Can we talk about character flaws real quick? There is a, a flaw that a lot of people have which uh, I don't know if you guys struggle with. If you do, I hope this helps you a little bit. The ability to say no. I, I don't quite understand it. You know, I'm in, as, as a salesman, you come across a lot of people who string you along, not because they can't make a decision, but because they just have the inability to tell you no. No, thank you. Not right now. They won't say the words. And you'll call them and call them and call them, and they'll be real nice to you on the phone, and they'll lead you along because they can never say the word no. And I, I've tried to explain this to my wife, for example, here recently, because she's kind of in sales in a way, doing what she does, and she doesn't get why people don't give her an answer. And there are a lot of people out there like that, and I started thinking about it. It is actually a character flaw. People who, they're so afraid of rejection themselves that they don't want to reject someone else, so they have an inability to use the word no. And that, if you're one of those people, as a man, what, the, the main thing that you have to do is just stand in front of a mirror and say the word no repeatedly. And that'll teach you to say no without an offensive tone behind it. And look at your facial expression while you're saying it. It is so important as you get older as a man to learn how to say no to people and to do it in a kind, polite way, but emphatically so they know that you're not messing around. Remember, I, I did a commentary a long time ago where about letting your no be a no. You guys can go back and look it up. But there's also a couple other things that people say that you guys, if y'all are like this, y'all need to remove it from your vocabulary. I'll give you a couple. Um, to be honest. To be honest with you. Don't ever say that to somebody because if they have half a mind, what you just told them is that you have been dishonest to them in everything else that you've told them. Why do you need to use the term to be honest with you? You don't have to emphasize what you're going to say by using that term because what it indicates is dishonesty. I'll give you another one. To tell you the truth, what What do you mean to tell me the truth? Have you not been telling me the truth till now? So you've been lying to me this whole time and now you're gonna tell me the truth. Wow, that's interesting. Or how about this? When you're like uh, meeting with a car salesman or you know, you're about to buy something big and you're, you're sitting across from the salesman and, and he leans in and he whispers to you, between you and me, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not friends. Don't whisper to me, okay? You, we're not keeping this on the DL. I don't know you, you don't know me, okay? What that indicates is lying. That that indicates, what, what am I looking for? He feels like he's gonna lose the sale or he's trying to drive something home. You'll notice this in weaker salesmen when they do it. So, let's recap this. <laughs> Number one, learn to say the word no emphatically, but not objectionably, so people understand that when you know comes out it means no don't ever use the term to be honest because it indicates that everything else you said was dishonest don't ever say to tell you the truth because it indicates that everything you told them before that was a lie and don't ever whisper to people between you and me because they're not your friend <laughs> I know you guys are like okay I tuned in for a COD commentary about some amazing comeback with a nuclear and he's talking to me about the way people speak I know, I know. I, I don't know where I come up with this stuff. It just kind of hits me here and there. You remember, I was sick for like three or four days, and I'm sitting in bed like, oh my gosh, 
I have nothing to do. What am I going to do? <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave you guys alone. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button as always. Leave a comment down below. Are there any statements that you guys hate? Of course, we all hate basically, basically. Or like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like. Oh, drives me crazy. And of course, as always, it is what it is. <laughs> you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.